because they were featured in Philippine Tatler. Like a beach setup for your condo. So let's give it a try. Right now it's pretty laxed in the Philippines, which I love. It tastes like any other cheesecake. Oh no, that's not, that's not a good thing. <laughs> Getting to Rockwell and BGC from Quezon City, the traffic looks like it's definitely going back to normal. Since the country opened its doors to foreign tourists and travelers, I am seeing quite a lot more of crowds in public places and definitely there's more cars on the road. I do hope that the cycle lanes remain the same and that eventually when there's traffic that the cars still respect the cycle lanes but here's a little example of what it looks like it can get very congested and something that would or should take at least 10 minutes to get to because of manila's traffic it can take over an hour to get to so right now this is the manduluyang area and this is what rockwell looks like this place can get very busy so if you are wanting to dine al fresco i definitely recommend to call in advance and make reservations to make sure you have a table available for you. I've mentioned this in my previous videos but like what Eddie says, eating in the Philippines is like a sport. We have all the cuisines you could possibly think of from oriental to continental and the list goes on so it's quite nice and I like that our food options here are very diverse. While it's bright, we're walking towards the car now and we are on our way to get some burnt Basque cheesecake. The chef is Chef Chell and I discovered him online because they were featured in Philippine Tatler and so I hope that the cake will be very quality so it's a random there's like a beach setup for your condo anyway so to cap the night for my mom's uh, birthday Salubong actually a birthday is on the 25th and I'm videoing this today on the 24th yeah, we're just gonna enjoy some burnt fast cheesecake. I got the traditional and I also got the dark chocolate. So let's give it a try. Right now we're inside the mall, Power Plant. This is just one of many malls in Manila and we like going here because there's less people and it's comfortable. But I also love how they glorify these cookies. They're huge and they almost look like a bunch of pizzas. I like to keep my dog in a stroller because he bites and he feels more comfortable there as well. It's amazing what the pandemic has done because of COVID, um, how the businesses work here in the Philippines. Everybody has literally gone online and each and every friend I know practically sells something online and mostly has to do with food. So here we are at BGC at the Bellagio building. This is actually my first time here and I'm here to pick up the burnt bass cheesecake. Again, I discovered these guys online because they were featured at Philippine Paddler. I also think it's quite interesting to see how the nightlife has definitely progressed and developed since we opened last February to foreign tourism and fellow travelers. It's quite nice because I feel like the Philippines in a global scale has been left behind in terms of just pretty much I would say everything. Uh, schools for the kids are still online. And when I flew back to the Philippines from the UK, I still had to quarantine last January. So I'm glad now starting February, March and so on that the restrictions and the rules have changed and hopefully COVID will go away and everyone can live happy lives again. And sustainably, of course, I do love the environment so much. Uh, we are in Dean and Deluca and we've decided to just chill out here so we can enjoy Mama's burnt cheesecake. I know it might seem a little formal casual, but what I love about the Philippines is that it's it's pretty chilled out. So even if this cake is not from the restaurant, yeah, the, the servers just allow us to stay there and it's it's quite a nice thing. And yeah, the cheesecake is looking delicious. So we ordered coffee and tea to go with our cheesecake. Well, usually, um, it's not really allowed to bring food to another restaurant, but it's pretty lean or it's pretty laxed in the Philippines, which I love. And so, yeah, we're just gonna enjoy our food here with no porkage. The story of where we got the cake, I believe the chef is from Basque over at Spain and he came over to the Philippines. He got really popular with this food and I guess he loves making burnt Basque cheesecake. He also fell in love here as well with the Filipina and I guess he's decided to live here for good. 
What intrigues me as well is that behind every delicious food, there is a story and I do love hearing stories. I also love that they gave me candles. And by the way, this is not an ad. I am not getting paid to do this. I just want to share with you my experiences over at Manila. Mom's first bite. Tastes good. But it tastes like any other cheesecake. Oh no, that's not that's not a good thing. <laughs> Dad, how does it taste? Very good. Very good. My turn. It's just very light. It's delicious. But I feel like I've tried it before, so but it's definitely delicious. <laughs> it feels very light. I kind of like it more on the heavy side of the cheesecake. Yeah. But again, we're not burnt fast cheesecake experts, but but yeah, it's delicious for what it is. That sums up today's video. Thank you again for watching, and hopefully you'll see me traveling around the Philippines very soon. Even if it's very beautiful here in the city, it's just not for me. Definitely, I do prefer going up mountains, jumping off waterfalls, and just being able to explore the marine wildlife as well. So diving and perhaps surfing as well. Yeah, let me know if those are the videos you'd want to see. And let me know if you want to see more videos about the city. But, oh, and those Christmas trees, they've been there since forever. It's obviously not Christmas anymore. It's whatever, they're still there. So. In the Philippines, we always celebrate Christmas. But anyway, thank you for watching. <laughs> bye. Scotty says bye also. Bye.